Taking time bomb, the words a local attorney is using tonight to describe Ray Tensing. It stems from a 2010 court case where Tensing was the victim and Lisa Rabanus defended one of his accused attackers. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live now with the reason for those fearful words. Tom? Well, Carol, it's these hundreds of pages of text messages that surfaced during the trial for those two men accused of beating Ray Tensing very severely five years ago. Now, the charges in the case were dropped and the records of these two men were expunged, but it's left a lasting impression on Lisa Rabanus. This is Ray Tensing bloodied and cut in 2010. He got into a fight leaving a party near the UC campus. At the time, he was a student hoping to become a police officer. Two men were charged with assault. One was defended by Lisa Rabanus, who recalled Tensing's behavior as somewhat odd. He wasn't really happy with um, the investigation that the Cincinnati police were doing. Uh, didn't believe they were aggressive enough or, or doing enough, so he uh, started his own investigation. Rabanus says that included posing as someone else to get information on his attackers. At the time, it, it seemed um, a little bit gung-ho for the victim to be doing it instead of uh, the police because not that much time had elapsed. But things turned troubling after attorneys discovered hundreds of tensing texts. The, the most concerning things was uh, his uh, repeated mentioning of wishing he had had his gun at the scene and that if he had had his gun, uh, someone would have been leaving in a body bag. Another was about what would happen if things didn't work out in court. He would take care of it his own way. Um, that he had the addresses of uh, the people charged and he would take care of it, uh, sort of vigilante, uh, vigilante justice. And finally, this one sounding similar to circumstances of the DuBose case. Uh, making sure that he met up with uh, another one of the witnesses before they went to court to go over their stories. Rabanus ultimately told people she didn't think Tensing should be a police officer. He's a ticking time bomb. Now, Rabanus added that she believes her worst fears, came, worst fears about tensing came true with the DuBose case. Now, I did contact attorney Stu Matthews, who's representing tensing, and ask him about this case. He said he's aware of it, but declined to comment. Tom McKee, not on your side, live downtown.